but instead of stretching Rogers, um, as we'll talk about in class, can we get an explicit First Amendment defense when the defendant has a political message? Um, and one reason the resort to Rogers has been had so much is because of an older case, um, not overruled. I'm not sure it would come out the same way today, but I'm not sure it would. Uh, the case of San Francisco Arts and Athletics versus the U.S. Olympic Council, uh, decided by the Supreme Court in 1987. Uh, the U.S. Olympic Committee sued San Francisco Arts and Athletics, which ran the Gay Olympics, a nonprofit series of athletic competitions designed to highlight the capabilities of gays and lesbians. This was in the early 1980s, um, and this was quite controversial. So the poster on the top of the screen was rescued from a bonfire of merchandise after the Supreme Court's decision. The Amateur Sports Act creates a super trademark right. It gives the USOC the exclusive right to use the five ring symbol and the words Olympic and so on for the purpose of trade, to induce the sale of any goods or services, or to promote any theatrical exhibition, athletic performance, or competition. It's a super trademark because there's no confusion requirement. There's not even a dilution requirement, and there are no statutory defenses. SFAA argued that it was unconstitutional to prohibit them from using the word Olympics without a confusion requirement. Um, and they pointed out uh, that uh, the USOC was willing to license plenty of uses, so, uh, here are some licensed users. The USOC did not object to the Special Olympics, the Nude Olympics, the Police Olympics, the Dog Olympics, or a bunch of others. Uh, one defendant said, the bottom line is if I'm a rat, a crab, a copying machine, or an Armenian, I can have my own Olympics. If I'm gay, I can't. So uh, the Gay Olympics, uh, it could be readily understood as a political statement about the equal dignity of uh, gay and lesbian uh, 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 um, participants. The Supreme Court held, however, that the law is was not unconstitutional. Um, it reasoned that SFAA could do everything it wanted to do using another name like the Gay Games. Uh, and the prohibition on use of the name directly advanced the government's interest in supporting the Olympics by supplying the USOC with the means to raise money. Uh, the court said Congress could reasonably conclude that most commercial uses of the Olympic words and symbols are likely to be confusing or diluting, and therefore it didn't have to have a proof requirement or even affirm an affirmative defense for the exceptions. Um, as I said, uh, it's far from clear that this is consistent with any kind of uh, modern uh, First Amendment doctrine, um, but there you have it. And, and some justices still refer to it um, uh, approvingly. Uh, the SFAA planned to sell t-shirts and bumper stickers saying gay Olympics. Um, the court uh, deemed the possibility of confusion obvious. Uh, Judge Laval uh, has subsequently suggested that if we were more uh, appropriately skeptical about confusion claims, uh, we would not need to have the First Amendment do as much work um, as laterally we have demanded of it. And that's a question for you to consider as we look at the day's cases. Thanks and see you soon.